Hi, my name is Jenny Bennett, and this is my story. So I grew up in a Christian environment with lots of my relatives and friends and family members um, were Christians, and I went to church all my life. So when I was 10, there was this really graphic song about the coming judgment of God um, that was really popular among um, us siblings even though it was really um, weird and morbid. But despite that, it was my first realization that I wasn't ready to meet God. Um, so motivated by the fear of going to hell, I eventually prayed with my mom. And I remember a calm sense of peace I felt afterwards. I could fall asleep without worrying about not being ready to meet God. Then when I was 20, Someone I loved was being abused, and during one instance, I was so scared and shook up that I ran out to the woods in our backyard, and I sat in the ravine for about two hours. Um, it felt like I didn't care about people, especially women, and I felt like God was unjust for putting men in authority because I grew up with male authority that was unhealthy and manipulative. So I didn't like God, he felt mean and like spending eternity in heaven with him didn't feel appealing. I was really doubting God's goodness. Then suddenly, I had this vision of Jesus on trial before he died. So even though he was being falsely accused and had every right to be angry, he was just silent taking it. And this showed me um, a side of Jesus that was meek and humble and non-confrontational, just as Isaiah 50, 3-7 says he was oppressed and afflicted. He did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before his shears is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Um, so this turned my heart towards Jesus. And since then, God has been, been revealing more of his character to, um, to me. One of my favorite Bible verses like can, um, keeps reminding me of the character and intentions of God. It states that He heals the brokenhearted, He gives liberty to the captives, He heals the blind and comforts those who mourn, and gives beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning. So in 2020, uh, I saw a Christian therapist and we ended up talking a lot about Jesus. I told him I was, um, I was scared like I wasn't good enough for God, and I felt like he my son like get angry with me or stop liking me. But he told me that I don't have to perform for Jesus to accept me or for Jesus' approval. So I wanted to be good enough for God on my own, but deep down I just knew I wasn't. So like after I talked to him, it was like someone took like this massive weight off my heart. Like his love is so amazing. And his forgiveness impacts my sense of self-worth because like I know he loves me so much like he was willing to die a really horrible death to restore me back to God. And Jesus' forgiveness um, affects my ability to care for other people and forgive them when they hurt me. Jesus gives me so much peace and like I really have no idea what I would do without God to talk to whatever I'm scared or hurt, sad, freaking out, like all the other emotions. It gives me so much hope and a purpose for life.